Hey, it's Sandra, founder of Summa Cum Flawed, where failure is a springboard for success, not a highway to hell. Uh, I get that the camera quality and lighting is something else, but that's not what's important. What's important is that I'm giving you an update. Yay! I know it's been a long time. Um, I don't even remember the last time I posted, but I know that uh, I owe you all several updates. So I'm going to try to get that all done um, in the next few minutes. Excuse me. Um, the first thing, though, is whew, where are my manners? Merry Christmas, although I'm going to be uploading this probably the next day. Oh, well. Merry Christmas to you and yours if you celebrate Christmas. Um, yeah, okay, updates. So, gosh, where did I even start? I guess I should talk about my November challenge. It was to eat a primarily plant-based diet. Uh, yeah, I failed. <laughs> this should be a fail vlog. I failed. I mean, let me not, let me be more generous. I ate a primarily plant-based diet more often than not. Um, but I also had days where I was like pescatarian and vegetarian. And it was just like, not in my mind what I, what I considered, uh, PPB, primarily plant-based diet would look like, but that's Okay because I have 2020 to work all of that out. Yes, I'm saying it here, you're hearing it first. In 2020, yours truly is going vegan. Um, so yeah, so that was that. Um, I will say this though, like, I really enjoy how I feel when I cut out red meat. And November really showed me how, um, just how much better my body functions when I'm not eating red meat. So anyway, okay, so that's that. Uh, next update, your girl just finished her first semester at Harvard University. Yes, we thank God, <laughs> we thank God. Because when I tell you towards the end of the semester, I felt like a marathon runner, but like not the marathon runners that are running in like two hours flat or whatever. I don't really know how long it takes to run a marathon. I don't even know if two hours flat is a reasonable pace, but like, or time. But like, you know, you have those marathon runners where they cross the finish line and like, they don't even look like they're in pain. And then you have the marathon runners whose legs have locked up and they're literally crawling. Either they're crawling or they're dragging themselves like peg leg Joe. One leg is stiff, the other leg is, you know. That's what I felt like towards the end of the semester. I said, Lord... Where's my endurance? I am tired. Like, I've been staying up, writing these papers, studying for these finals, trying to get stuff done. And it got to a point where I just, I uh, I got really tired. And I, I started doing things that weren't really out of character, but kind of were, like cracking jokes on exams. So there was this one exam that I wrote, and I just, like, I started writing funny things in it. Because I was like, listen, like, I've hit a wall. I am tired, and at the very least, you can laugh your way to giving me an A. Listen, y'all, I got an A in that class. I'm not gonna say it was my jokes that did it. It was definitely the favor of God, and then maybe my jokes, but it was just rough. So, but I thank God, you know, my grades are looking good so far. Um, I made it through my first semester here, and I'm just really grateful. I learned a lot of different things about myself, about Harvard as an institution, about some of the people that I've interacted with here. And I'm really glad that I had this experience. So there's that. Um, it's so crazy. There's so much that I want to say that I'm overwhelmed and I don't know what to say. So yeah, so that was Harvard. I kind of wanted to do a like, oh, 10 things that I've learned in the past 10 years. I want to say that's corny. It's not corny. I think it's really cool to hear the things that people have learned. And I may or may not do a video like that. I'm not sure. I'm currently in the process of um, doing some journaling and reflecting. Uh, my friend that I grew up with, we, go, um, we grew up in the same church community or whatever. Um, she got me hip to something called Power Sheets by this woman named Laura Casey. And I don't know, maybe I'll do a vlog on that at some point. Um, but Power Sheets... Is basically like a goal setting journal and they ask such thought provoking questions. I really force you to dig deep and really think through what matters. And then 
you get to cultivate goals from a space of like, this is what matters to me and this is what I want to do. And it's just different from how I've ever set goals before in my life. So I'm feeling really excited about what's next. Um, so there's that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to vlog the first two months of the new year. And I say that because I'm planning on undergoing a detox process. And I kind of want to step away from technology and social media of all sorts. Um, but I just don't feel very good about not vlogging for that long, especially since, you know, I spent a month away from vlogging. Like I didn't vlog for a month or however long it was, but um, I got to do what's right for me. So I'm going to take the next few days to figure that out and see, okay, like what will work and communicate that i guess um yeah i'm enjoying christmas break winter break um having really good times with family friends and having some space to really just reflect right because the past semester and even since i moved to boston cambridge six months ago or whatever it's been a lot it's been a blur a lot of things have happened I'm still processing some of those things and it's just been overwhelming in like a good way and then you know some things were not so good <sighs> but yeah um there's a lot i could talk about i'm not quite sure what exactly to talk about this is why it's good to organize your thoughts and have like a editorial calendar or whatever but anyway i just wanted to give you guys an update on how i'm doing um i hope you all are well and for those of you who are in school i hope you all had a fantastic semester uh i hope your grades are popping i hope every aspect of your life is popping i hope that you are enjoying time with family and friends i hope there is no drama none at all not even for your baby mama, if you have one of those. Um, I, I just pray for a drama-free holiday break for you because family drama is so draining. Um, yeah, and I hope that we're, whatever space you're in now, I know that like the end of the year can trigger some people and they feel really blue and sad. I hope that whatever space you're in uh, during this time that you find something good to to hold on to um and to go into the new year with like if 2019 was a sucky year for you that doesn't mean 2020 has to be and to be honest technically 2019 isn't over yet we still have like what six to seven more days something really amazing could happen in those next six to seven more days or even if something amazing doesn't happen at least something good there's good in every day and i know that sounds so cliche and like annoying but it's true and the older I get, the more I realize the importance of not waiting for a new year to start, to really embrace living now, living my best life, you know, maximizing what is available to me. I don't have to wait for January 1st to do that. I can I can really do that now. Um, and so I just want to encourage you all with that. Uh, live your life now. Those New Year's resolutions, start them today. Um bad habits that you want to kick, kick them today. You know, don't wait for the momentum of January 1st. I think we can be so emotionally driven and like caught up in New Year's hype and that stuff is not sustainable. What's sustainable is the decisions that you make, the choices that you that you make on a day-to-day -day basis, regardless of what time of year it is. And I'm preaching to myself. So yeah, um, I don't know if <laughs> anything I said made sense. I feel like I was all over the place. But uh, too long, didn't listen. Because, you know, they have like too long, didn't read. Too long, didn't listen. Um, I'm good. I finished my first semester at Harvard. I'm really grateful. A lot has happened. Not sure if I'm going to blog the first two months of next year. We'll see. Have a lot more updates. We'll see if I get those out on time. Hope you have an amazing time with family and friends make today count. Okay, have a good night. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you, I'll see you next time.